And next, uh, Christy Huff. It's not letting me start the video. Okay, well, we can hear you, so. Okay, I will just talk then. <laughs> Okay. There you are. Now we can see them. So lots to unpack here, but um, you know, we've heard over and over again that deprescribing guidance is pretty scant and heterogeneous. What it, you know, what there is, I, I know because I've um, reviewed it, trying to draft a guidance document for the Colorado Consortium. Um, but I think the overwhelming you know opinion in those guidance is that we need to be doing you know a patient led. Um, flexible and individualized taper plan. Um, and we certainly need more research into the patient withdrawal experience. And, you know, I think any guidance that we come up with as far as deep prescribing needs to take the patient lived experience in mind. Uh, but I'd really like to find out who is at risk of experiencing withdrawal, you know, especially these prolonged and um, difficult withdrawal syndromes that some patients in our population are experiencing, you know, how can this be prevented and how can we best support those patients? Um, and then I'll um, say again that I think physician education is key. I mean, a lot of this information is actually already out there. And now we have this recent FDA drug safety communication, but, you know, according to what Sangita said earlier, um, you know, the physicians haven't quite got, gotten the message yet. So, you know, that's definitely a piece that needs to be worked on as well. So uh, um, I think that's all I have, but uh, thanks for letting me contribute to this conversation. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the contributions. Um